Hi, it's Chris here in the Floor News Now First Alert Weather Center. I hope you had a great day. I gotta tell you, the wind or breeze was unwelcomed by firefighters. In fact, we're still under a red flag warning until 11 o'clock tonight. But the cooler weather, the breeze, in the fact that it cleared out the wildfire smoke and made it feel even more pleasant just from a purely enjoyment phase, uh, today I thought was pretty spectacular. I hope you felt the same way. Um, we are going to lose the breeze, which is actually kind of a good thing, and uh, keep things cool or tomorrow. I keep saying cool. It's not really that cool. Temperatures near average tomorrow. Um, we were at 89 today, 88 tomorrow. Still smoky and hazy at times, mainly in the morning uh, where things settle down and then that wildfire smoke will disperse as the day goes on. It's still going to be dry, no rain in sight, uh, and then the heat returns full force. Well, not full force. Now that we have a new definition of full force, not triple digits, but still very hot, mid to upper 90s on Sunday. Here is your forecast, and uh, we've got a nice southwesterly, west southwesterly flow over the region thanks to that area of low pressure out there in the Pacific. It's gonna bring a chance of showers to the west side of the state, showers up into Canada. Uh, no precipitation on this side of the mountains, but it is gonna help keep things in the upper 80s uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, winds will be uh, calmer tomorrow as well as Saturday, and then high pressure will begin building in again uh, as we get into the second half of the weekend. Here, these white lines here are the winds, and this is the smoke product, a smoke computer model, and you can see how that breeze is just sending that smoke on its way up into the higher uh, atmosphere and to points unknown. Uh, when we start to see the high pressure building back in, uh, that smoke may become more of an issue, and as our winds settle down also. Lows tonight. Pretty pleasant, 61 in Spokane, 60 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. Um, high temperatures tomorrow will be in the 80s and 90s, not too bad. And we will keep things in the upper 80s for Saturday, starting to see that uh, wildfire smoke settle in again as we get into uh, the weekend and into early next week. 97 on Monday, ugh. And then uh, there is the possibility of some dry lightning um, early Sunday morning and possibly again on Tuesday. Um, that is, you know, ways off and sort of an isolated chance, but just something to tuck into the back of your head as you head out for the weekend that early Sunday morning you could have a little bit of dry lightning. The last thing that we need to see right now. Um, what do I have to tell you? Just to share a little, since we're at the end of our program here, as I am prone to do, I'll share a little personal thing. Uh, the HVAC system in your house went kaput. Um, and in fairness, the dear folks uh, that come and service the furnace every year or quarterly or whenever they come, um, they have been telling us your HVAC system is really coming down the home stretch. Um, and so uh, it finally bit the dust. So um, that's an investment. <laughs> you should just know that if you are thinking that you might need to replace your heating and cooling system anytime in the near future, you're gonna want to put away a sizable amount of money uh, to do that because it does not come free to stay uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer in the inland northwest and um, I would like to say that this heat was just too much for my air conditioner but I think uh, being 20 years old was really what was too much for my air conditioner um, anyway nice folks uh, that uh, are putting in my new air conditioner and um, I'm trying to look I can't it's like mainstay electric 
I can't remember the name of them. That's bad. Um, what is the name of that place? Now you're definitely ch changing the channel. You don't want me to sit here and look up who is doing it. Alex is his name. He's really nice. And they did give me a good deal because I'm in their priority service club mainstream electric. Great folks. And uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for watching if you're still watching. Maybe Thomas is still watching. <laughs> and we'll see you back here tomorrow.